Hi, Dehan. Yeah. What's with the hi, Dehan? I'm like a little bit stressed out about the whole holiday thing. Really? We're probably the only couple in the world where I cook and you get stressed when I don't. Oh, cook. come on! I'm cooking. Okay, let's not let's not pretend that I'm not cooking. You're it's the holidays, yeah. and on the holidays, everybody knows that I cook too. You're definitely gonna help, for sure. I'm gonna make most of this. You're gonna help. You're to gonna him. help. He doesn't know what he's but saying. But it's interesting how I cook and you get the anxiety. That's not true. I'm not gonna be all right. Not gonna, cooking. How about we split it half and half like we always do? So how about now? Fifty percent. I'm still stressed. Fifty percent of your anxiety should have gone down. No, it didn't. Why? Because we didn't start. So what? Look, here's my, here's my, here's you my. You in two days, dude. No, no, but I'm gonna tell you what it is. For Shabbat, I start cooking three, four Look hours. Look at you, you're like it, you were just in the spotlight. Yeah, what? For three, four hours before Shabbat, I start cooking. Shabbat? So why do I need to cook two days before Rosh Hashanah? Really? Because there's six meals. By the way, just so you know, there's some amazing. How does he amazing, not have stress? Some amazing dishes. I'm more stressed because you're not stressed. <laughs> <laughs> this is true story, friends. Oh my! <laughs> Amazing dishes that you make that the kids are expecting and they want your flavors. They want mommy's yummy flavors. So not helping my stress level. So not to stress you or anything. But no, 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 I know not to stress me. It's just a few but... things. Um, we're gonna. Oh no! We're definitely gonna start on Wednesday morning. Oh no, we are not. Yeah, why not? No, 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 no. Fresh food. No, fresh brush. We're starting tomorrow. <laughs> fresh brush. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. Okay, what are we gonna make? Googles? He wants to start Wednesday. What do you want to make? Potato. Dude, I'm not making any luxury kugel. By the way, well, my, who does that? My, I, my, we're, my Moroccan we're mother. We're Spartics. My Moroccan mother. <laughs> should should live a long and healthy life. I mean, she makes the best. Makes the best Yerushalmi kugel in the world. She does. The you know, it's not that I have anything against the kugels. I just can't make them. I've tried. I you know I can make anything you want Spartic, but I cannot make a kogol. It's like supposed to be the easiest thing to make. Yeah. Didn't you take Never my comes mom's uh, recipe once? Yeah, I can. Okay, so experience. your mother, with all due respect to everybody, your mother, this is her recipes. You know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that and just a lot, you know, for taste and a, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Who can cook this way? Look, I'm gonna tell you one thing about it. Just do it and it's perfect. You have to make it once or twice. You have to burn it. You okay, have to honey, make it once I've made salty. it once or twice. You have to you have to I've burnt it, once, it too, too. once or twice. Experience makes best. I'm not making any more kugels. Well, you're not gonna get the experience. Okay. The kugel experience. Challenge me to make a Yerushalmi kugel. I never made it in my life. Really? Yes. Did you I'll guys all hear this? Yes, not for Rosh Hashanah because there's oh, okay. other products for next to make. Okay, next Shabbos. The following Shabbos, yes. Deal. I'm making a Yerushalmi kugel. So this, this should be very interesting. He's so going to make a Yerushalmi kugel. Okay, easy. Easy. I'm going to tell you what it is. I know what it I'm is. I'm going to tell you what it is okay. as far as I remember yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. My mother would boil the, the pasta, yeah. the lakshan. Yeah, the lakshan. And yeah. then she would make this um, mix of sugar, like creating yeah, this. Yeah, and she caramelizes, caramelizes it. Yeah, okay. Sugar. It doesn't work. Because you tried. It doesn't work. You didn't invest. Babe, I want to see you make it because it doesn't work. You made it once. It doesn't work like that. You have to no. invest. No, okay. Yes. Let's just Life is all about what I always say I'm gonna, about I'm going to taste business. test it in front of you guys. Not just recipes. Even business. Failure is part of your success. You cannot get there without sort of failing on the way to get to the promised land. Right. Right? Yeah. So you got to really know. Speaking of the promised you land. You got to have some. Yummy, we have a sun there. We're gonna have to take a trip. Ciabatta baguettes right here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's a very good thing. Those are the best. Yeah, ciabatta definitely works for me. Definitely. Okay, so after all that, what's for dinner, Dehan? I'm gonna make it very easy and short for you. It's all based around ciabatta mm. baguettes. You can get them in uh, IGA uh, Cavendish. You can get them in Site uh, Kasher Kosher City. You can get them in probably other places. Don't get any spider webs on our bread. Otherwise, the bread will be meat. <laughs> That's disgusting. You did not just say that. Listen. That's nasty. You can't. It's, uh, it's, it's fleshy. You're going to argue the fact that spiders are fleshy? They're disgusting. It's meat. And we don't eat that. I didn't say we're going to eat we them. We don't eat them. We don't live near them. We don't let them maybe, live in our homes. Maybe the webs, the actual webs are parts. That's I disgusting. Maybe it's shahakal. Dude, you're disgusting.